In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to be taking a look at the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine x dx. Now to start with, what I want to do is I want to take a look at that denominator and I'm going to utilize that to multiply by the conjugate so that I can have a 1 minus sine squared x on the bottom and then I can pull in this Pythagorean identity. When I solve for cosine x, I'm going to be able to do a nice substitution there. So first thing I'm going to do is multiply by that conjugate. So I'm going to rewrite here 1 over 1 plus sine x and then I'm going to multiply by the conjugate so 1 minus sine x over 1 minus sine x there in the denominator and then dx of course on the end of that okay now multiplying on top I'm just going to have 1 times that so I'll just have the integral of 1 minus sine x on top now by choosing the conjugate here I, this is the factored form of the difference of two squares, so I can multiply that out really easily, squaring the first term, which is going to be 1, and then minus, because I know it's a difference of two squares, squaring the second term then, I'll have the sine squared x dx. All right, now that allows me to then take a look at this denominator and know that I can substitute in a cosine squared x for that. Okay, so then I'm going to have the integral of 1 minus sine x all over cosine squared x doing that substitution. Now at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Since I have something in the numerator there being subtracted, I'm going to break this up into two individual integrals, two individual fractions. So then I'm going to have the integral of 1 over cosine squared x dx. Now I'm going to choose to leave the minus on the inside part of the integral. So we'll say plus the integral minus sine x all over cosine squared x dx. All right, and you can do this anytime. All you have to do is take these two fractions, um, put them back together, add them, see if you get that original um, rational function. As long as you do, then you know you have split it up correctly. All right, now at this point, the reason I want to do this is because this is going to work out with a nice a nice uh, u substitution part, okay, with that um, derivative of cosine being um, a negative sign, things are going to cross out really nice. This right here, I can switch to a reciprocal identity of secant. Okay, so that's what I'm going to start working down here. We'll replace this 1 over cosine squared is going to be a 1 over secant squared. Okay, so we're not 1 over, it's going to be secant squared x dx, doing that reciprocal identity there. And then over here, the only thing I want to do is I want to rewrite this so that we can see what the inside function is. So minus sine x all over a cosine x and then quantity squared. Doing that just so you can see what the inside is right there. All right, now this integrates really nicely to a tangent x without a whole lot of work there. Okay, now on this part right here, we are going to do a u substitution. So I think I'm going to do it over here. We're going to let u be this inside function. So cosine x, taking the derivative of both sides, du equals negative sine x dx. And then going ahead and solving for that dx, we'll have a du over a minus sine x equals the dx. Okay, now coming back here and doing some substituting for that. Okay, I'll have my negative sine x in the numerator. I can replace the cosine x with a u, so I have a u squared there on the bottom. And replacing the dx with what it is, du over minus sine x. All right, and then that sets up really nicely for letting those minus sine x's cross out. I'm still going to have a tangent x here. Simplifying, I'm going to have a 1 over u squared du. The easiest way to integrate that would be to move that up to the numerator with those laws of exponents making it negative. So then I'll have the tangent x plus the integral of a u to the negative 2 du. All right, we should all be able to integrate this one relatively simply here. Uh, tangent x plus add 1 to both sides, put it down in front, so then we'll have a negative u to the negative 1. Um, we can go ahead and throw in that plus c now since both of them are integrated. And then let's rewrite this. 
so that we have a tangent x. Let's make that a minus. Let's move this to the bottom, so I'll have a 1 over u plus c. Coming up here to finish then, we'll have a tangent x. All right, and then minus, replacing that u with what we said it was going to be, 1 over cosine x plus c. And then one more substitution here. This is um, the reciprocal identity, the same thing we did here, except it's just not squared. So then we'll have a tangent x minus a secant x and then plus the c. All right, so definitely a pretty straightforward integral after you get started, recognizing that denominator and knowing that you got to multiply by that um, conjugate to form that identity then so that you can do a nice little substitution. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.